Hooray! It's patch day for World of Tanks. A nice, not a huge update to download, but a reasonable, a reasonably sized one. Um, most of my things, like most stuff I drive, have been has narrowly avoided the Nerf missile. Although obviously the changes um, to the sort of the, the nerfing of tank destroyer view rangers is going to have an effect because even though I don't play the tank destroyers that got hit by that, I often play scout tanks, and it would be nice to sort of be able to not worry so much about the ridiculously long view ranges some of the tank destroyers have. Uh, my housemate Lokian does play tank destroyers and it will be a lovely surprise for him when he gets home to discover that hey um, your view ranges have been nerfed sorry about that obviously the other big change for me is the accuracy change um, basically the, the short version is you're less likely to hit the direct the, the sort of the center ring of your reticle so your tanks are basically now kind of more inaccurate is this a good thing? I don't know. Um, is there anything? Oh yes, uh, I saw that my Tiger P has received a bit of a rework in the model department. Um, almost to the point that I'm consider I would consider using it again. Almost. I feel kind of sorry for the Tiger P. I unlocked it for reasons I honestly cannot cannot fathom even. Um, and then it's going to take me quite a while to suss out how I'm supposed to use the tank properly. Um, but the good news is that's more time to play the KV-2, which is obviously what's on the screen now. It's KV-2, uh, love and peace, playing on El Haluf. I think that's how you pronounce it. El Haluf. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Now I tried watching um, esports coverage recently of a lot of tank events. I used to play a lot of Dota 2, and I still watch a lot of watch a lot of that game, even though I don't really play it anymore. So I thought as I'm playing World of Tanks, it'd be interesting to see how Wargaming.net handle all of the things to do with the esports scene. The bad news, and again this is kind of my own opinion, but as far as I'm concerned World of Tanks just isn't a good spectator sport for me. One of the things I really enjoyed about sort of watching games of Dota 2 was that the games were both exciting and educational. I mean educational in the sense that you watch the players play and you can pick up sort of tips and tricks which you then apply in your own games later on. World of Tanks as an eSport feels very different from the World of Tanks that I'm suffering through every day. Now it's probably the case that a lot of this is down to the fact that I'm relatively not new at the game but relatively new, not that good prone to rushing in. Basically, I'm still quite a scrub at this game. But, you know, I might try, you know, platooning my T1 Cunningham with someone's tier 8 tank and I'll see whether or not the defence, hey, you know, the pros do it, is going to hold up much water in the pub scene. I do kind of doubt it. And it's not to say that, um, like, professional players of this game, or even good players of this game, are, like, I mean, I recognise their skill, their, their talents, their knowledge of this game. You watch, I watch sort of videos and streams of it, of these people playing, and I go, these guys are, and girls, these people are really good at this game. They've got fantastic situational awareness. They know weak spots and armour values. There's a lot, there's a lot to kind of laud about these players, and there's a lot of, again, skills and talents to showcase. But it seems like such a shame that the the tournament level sort of videos of sort of professional games, clan versus clan, they don't feel like they show that there's enough opportunity to showcase these these qualities that I think should be showcased. I mean again I'll use Dota 2 as an example because it's what I sort of have of what I've played the most I guess but when you see a player pull off sort of a, a, a game winning move they tend to be big they tend to be flashy there's a lot of sort of scope for individual skill in the game to, to, to make 
a difference to the point that people watching the game and people broadcasting the game can sort of identify these big moments and these big plays and they've got flashy graphics and huge sounds and Korean people shouting. World of Tanks doesn't have that and I feel like again it, it's a bit of a shame but the sort of the, the pace of the game I don't want to say it's slow because you know games are the games are still relatively quick compared to say Dota but the the action is so unremarkable and difficult to get excited about so yeah that's tank of the day or oh, tank a tank a day you should if, if you haven't just I know I'm gonna say this a lot probably every day but if you haven't unlocked the KV2 go and do yourself a favor and go and do it now